Do you remember what it was like in here before the smoking ban? No. Nah. Have you seen the phone bill? Nah. It can't be right. This ain't right. Well, it ain't me, is it? Don't even use a landline. I use my mobile phone. I'm not from the 1930s. You pay it. Well, no one has to pay it. It says we're £460 in credit. Oh, I know what that is. That's your man Peaches in the basement. He's been doing one of them premium line phone things. What's, what's that? What do you mean? Turn on channel 99061. Go up another channel. Go up. Not that one. Keep going, keep going up. There he is. Amazing battleships, cannons, rifles, bayonets, sandbags, then lasers, then Uzis. What's your favourite war that you've, you've been in? All of them. But I mean, like, what kind of war is your favourite kind of war? Oh, I'll do them all. Desert, jungle, ice, space. I'll take them all. I think you can't. You're either ready or you're not. But I mean, like, what, what goes through your mind, like, you say? Victory, just looking for that. Check a flag. Sounds excellent. You like a bit of that, do you? So, have you got any, like, inside info on any wars that might be coming up in the next, like, month or two? Yeah, um, Tropic of Cancer. I'm looking at There's something brewing there. What, what, what's happening there? That's brewing up. It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth when I think about it, so I'm getting over there as soon as I can. Don't you think it's funny how at school everyone said I was going to be nothing and yet I'm doing better than all of you? You live in a house with Roy from school? No, he lives with me. Get it right. What do you actually do? I'm Mr Judo, that's all you need to know about. Yeah, but how does that make you money? I live for Judo. So, but I don't need anything that, else. I can't understand how you'd make money from judo. You don't need to. I do tons of stuff. Like what? Spiders. You don't need to know about anything. Yeah, all you do is drop spiders on that bloke you live with. Yeah, that's, that's good. So what's that? That's your job? You like that stuff, don't you? No. Nah. What do you mean, no? Uh, no. Nah. Is that because you're a war mug? The man's a hero. Yes, and decorated twice over and we moved. He's got his own phone channel. Yeah, He's got a theme yeah. tune. He's a model. Well, what do you model? Clothes and good looks. He's got a phone channel about the army. Change his lives. And I still meet. Yeah. That's how we live, see? We're all at that age now where we're settling down, we're getting our own theme tunes, and all you're doing is sitting around, playing practical jokes and dropping spiders on people's heads. You don't understand, do you? You don't... Where do I start here? I don't need money. You know, I just am, innit? I just am. You just you are just, judo. You just am. I just, I just am judo. Does Roy play your way? I can't confirm that, but yes. <laughs> all right, well that's all you had to say. Let's have a dance to my theme tune. Call number on screen. Are you muscly? Oh, that's good. I like my men not, not very athletic. Mm. So, um, what's, what's your sister doing these days? Yeah, how's Roxanne? Playing pool, mate. We used to be friends. Really friendly. She used to be around a lot. Well, she's not around anymore, is she? I used to see her an awful lot. Well, maybe, but, you know, I'm playing pool now. Yeah, I know you're playing pool now, but I'm, I'm curious, I'm interested, you know, I, I like your sister, she's, you know, a friendly girl. Who doesn't? Well, well, yeah, well yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm friends with her on Facebook. I'm a friend on Facebook. She got a boyfriend. I'm busy. Look, all I want is a number. Can I just phone her and ask her out? I'll throw pool balls around in a minute. We're just saying your sister's friendly. Can I have a phone number? Because I want to see her. She doesn't like you, and I'm playing pool, well, and there's going to be real look, trouble look, if you Listen, can't. listen, she used to like me. I haven't seen her for a while. I'm sure she still will like me. She likes 
a lot of people. Getting angry. A lot of people. I'm capable of stuff, seriously, don't push me. Well, just give me a number. Chop, 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 chop. This is what happens when people push me. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Judo. We're meant to be doing judo. Why do you do these things? Life is complicated. No. Oh, that is garbage pal, kids. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that is, I like to move it, move it. Red-handed, red-handed peaches. What have you got to say now, fridge thief? What time is it? It's about nine o'clock. Ah, uh, I've got to get to work. Oh, look at that puddle. Is that what I think it is? Yes, Roy, it's leg. It's what we do in the army. It's not really talked about. You've just wet yourself, pure and simple. Yeah, it's defence mechanism. When you pass out, you just lag. Just so it appears that you're dead to the enemy. That's disgusting, Peaches. Can you get me out of here, please? Probably got a bit of a problem with that, in that Rexley is the only one with the code. Oh, that's fine. Just go and get him, then. He's not in, and his phone's broke. He's broken it doing magnet judo, apparently, whatever that is. Right. I'm going to have to ask you for help, Roy, even though it pains me, because my show starts in five seconds and I need to be in that basement now. What's, why, why should I, really? Well, because I want my leg up. OK. Uh, oh. Get your calls in and we'll talk about all things war. Um, Terry from Southampton, you're through to peaches. Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. It's Dog Judo. Dog Judo. Oh, hello, Rexanne. I didn't know you were coming over. You all right? I'm well, thanks. And what about you? Have you got any better at flirting? Flirting? Flirting. You've always been rubbish at flirting with me. Uh, I don't really like flirting. Do you want to have a little flirt? I, I don't, to be honest. I... Yeah, I've thought as much. Everyone else loves flirting with me, but not his highness, Roy. Well, you know, like, your Rexley's sister. I've known you all my life. I knew you when you were a little girl, running around the school with chicken fillets down your top, pretending they were, uh, bosoms and stuff. <laughs> you can't even say bosoms without blushing, Roy. It's quite sweet, really. And I'm with Florence, so I don't feel the need to flirt like you do, you know? You're a saucy nurse. That's fine for you. I'm not a saucy nurse, Roy. I'm a nurse who is saucy. Well, that's the same thing, isn't no, it? No, it's not. Well, I'm sorry, Rexanne, but I'm just not saucy. Uh, a bit of innuendo, then? No, I don't like innuendo, either. I'm a judo man. Judo, 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 judo. You and Rexley are so boring. Well, if you had actually tried judo, you'd know it is not boring. I don't need to try it and know it's boring. Actually, saying that, you could try some today. Mm, well, me and you rolling about on the floor, Roy. Well, no, not with me, but I did book a slot at the Judo for Beginners class down at the Leisure Centre, and uh, Florence just finds reasons not to go all the time, so you could do it instead, if you like. I've got to be back at work in an hour, maybe some other time. All right, well, I might be able to move it next week, maybe. You are flirting with me, aren't you? Shall I get down there and hold your slot open? Get down there and... I beg your pardon. Shall I get down there and hold your slot open? That's too saucy, Roy. Ow. Um, this chicken's been marinated in wine. It's too late for flirting now, Roy. I need to get out of it, so can we resolve this, please? You tied me up in a pub and this is what happens. Yeah, but I was just joking. Yeah, but he don't like it. He don't like that kind of stuff. So what's he want me to do? I don't know, mate. I'll give him a port medallion if I can come out. He's not having it. What about if I give him some liver? He don't need meat. Look at him. What does he want? I'll ask him. He wants you to do an impression of Meryl Streep. Well, how can I do an impression of Meryl Streep? It's the only way he's letting you out of there. Well, I don't even know what she sounds like. Who is Meryl Streep? Come on. Where am I going to know her from? You love that film Death Becomes Her. She's in that. With Bruce Willis. That's right. I can do Bruce Willis, I can't do Mel Street. It's the only way you're getting out of there, mate. Have a go. Hello. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I can't do an impression. All I've got is hello. 
And that's it. Just do Meryl Streep. What's she got to do with you, you naked I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help you out. Why would anyone want you to do an impression of Meryl Streep? He's into Why don't you just want like some meat or something, or some money? I'll give him money. Look, everyone's into different stuff, mate. Tell him I can get him whatever meat he wants, but I can't do an impression. All I've got is, hello. That's all I've got. Is that Julia Roberts? It's meant to be Meryl Streep. Hello. Pork chop. Egg steak. Hello. Hello. Becomes a... Hello. Goldie Hello. Neil Kinnett. Rubbish. Hello. Maybe blood. Hello. I'm gonna kill myself. Hello. I can't do no more than this. I'm losing all my dignity. Just to ask him if that was okay. All right, look. You've been methodical and you've been needy. And I like that. But let's see what he thinks. It's judgment time. I've got some news. Yeah? It's bad. He's not going to let you out. Bad. He thinks it's rubbish. Come on, look, I can't do no more than that. No, he don't like it. He don't like it. I thought you was my mate. You let yourself down. I didn't let myself down. Why don't you shut up? I'm off, mate. See you later. Hello! Get down! This is the police! Get down and say sorry. Say sorry. Just say sorry and you can go. I do judo at home. I do judo outside home. And on the way there, judo balance. Look at him next to me. Clutching that handrail like a newborn baby. Karate man for sure. My balance is outstanding. <laughs> My balance is outstanding. That's what that letter from the bank meant. It's like I'm wearing concrete boots. Hello, civilians. In your civilian seats. Now I know why eyes have got corners. People are looking at this stuff out of it. In the corners. It's balance. She's impressed. She likes it. He used to go to my school. Rexley's noisy mate, the meat thief. Pretending he hasn't noticed. Bit of bumpy track. No problem. Judo tubing. That's what I'll call it. Roy. London's premier judo tuber. This could catch on. I could get it televised. I'm the inaugural champ. Let's step it up a level. Have a read. Let's have a look at the paper while I judo tube. Ah! <laughs> I'll remember you from school. You ain't changed, have you? I'll remain quiet and be the bigger man and keep my dignity. Great! Ah! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Mind that gap. Quick fire questions, everyone. With who's the first caller? Oh, it's Popeye. Hi, Popeye from uh, Aberdeen. With no, no, uh, right. Okay. What do you think of the Chinese army? Um, very good, very good. Get in there, get in there. Would you eat monkey brains in the jungle? No, I don't think that would be needed. First time caller here. That's good. What's your question? Who would play you in a film of your life? Uh, Winston Churchill. And, and vice versa, I'm sure. How do you earn money when you're not at war? I earn quite a bit of money by painting bouncy castles. It's Roy here, ringing about the six years of rent you owe for use of my basement. Can we not do this on air, please? Quick fire questions, everyone. How do you cope with traffic jams? Any tips? Um, just sit there and wait. Karen from Coventry. Will you ever do an autobiography? Yeah, but I'm still young. I'm still out there. I'm still active. <laughs> do you like hand grenades? Uh, well, yeah, of course. My first wife. Clunk. Peaches, I'm in court with my brother and he needs a good reference or he's going to prison. Yeah, that's fine. Put me on speakerphone. Judge, it's Peaches from uh, War Chat. Let Rexford off. You know who I am. You, you've seen the stars and stripes on my shoulder, don't you? That should be good enough for you. Prison. Could have gone better. That's the end of the uh, quickfire questions. Oh. Popeye, did, sorry, did you forget something? No. Is that Popeye again? Did, did you forget to t ask me something? Close up on the face, please. Mm. Oh, that is limited edition chocolate bar. It's a bit wrong, though, isn't it, to nick booze off a sleeping Shh. woman? It's nearly five quid a pint in here. Exactly. What if she's not really asleep? She is asleep. She's snoring. 
Who's going to do it? You do it. What about we all do it together? Yeah? Yeah. Come on in. Go on then. Right, let's all go together then. One step at a time. Right, you ready? Yeah. After three. Well, who's counting then? You. you can. After three. Yeah? We, well, we just do it and be it, quiet. Do, 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 yeah. Just hurry up. After three. One, two, three. Have a step now. One, two, three. Come on, we're nearly there. I'm already there. Stealth. What can I get oh. you? I'll just leave Whoa. it out, mate. Oh, uh, no. Out! All of you, out! So, Peaches. What happened back there, mate? Yeah, talk to us, come on. What did you do? What did you do on the floor in the, in the pub? Nothing. I thought you was a war hero. I am. War heroes don't do that. You've just embarrassed all of us, eh? In front of what? Some woman we was just trying to nick alcohol off of. But that's our local and you've just lagged all over the floor. Do I care though? But I do. Well, go and mop it up then. Boom. So if it come down to it, would you rather go back down to White Belt or go to prison for a year? I'd definitely take prison. Rather than mock judo, I'd go to prison where everyone knows my name. But they don't know your name in prison. Of course they do, look at me. If you go in prison in a judo suit, you'll get battered. You'll get bullied. As soon as, as soon as you walk through the gates, they'll be like... <laughs> everyone will want to kiss me, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, I think you'll be very kissable. But then they'll get shot in the face. <laughs> You can't, you can't have a gun no, in prison. There's no guns allowed in prison. Yeah, but they might frisk you. He's friends with the army. I've got friends in prison all over the gaff, so... Oh, so you've got friends in prison? My brother. I thought your brother was at. He's coming out this afternoon. We're just going to go and pick him up. It wouldn't be that hard, though, to get back to being a black belt, would it? No proper judoist would go from black belt to white belt. Ask my brother. Rexford, what would you rather do then? Go back to a white belt or spend uh, a year in prison? Ask him again. Wexford. You've broken my eyes. Mm. Uh, that is dot com boom bust. Right. She's definitely asleep this time. We just stay quiet and calm. We can get free drinks here. Let's do it. I'm free then. One, two, three. This is well easy. Oh. This is your fault, them bloody noisy boots. My fault? What are you talking about? They've got rubber soles, and I'm trained in stealth. It was his fault. Patting out loud like someone off Sesame Street. How's it my fault? I still meet every day and don't get caught, so it obviously ain't my fault, is it? We should have just paid for the drink. Give yeah, it's £5 a pint in there, though. Well, I had a tenner on me. Give yeah, it's £5 a pint in there. Yeah, and I had £10. Can someone tell me what the big deal is, please? Oh, uh, big deal. We're in prison. We're in prison, and then big blokes over there are staring at us. And I'm naked. Don't worry about it. They're nothing. Nothing? Look the size of them. What are we going to do if they try something? I'm a model, not a fighter. What's this? What are you looking at, you fat mugs? What, what are you doing? I'm a meat thief, not a fighter. Who are you looking at? Why are you doing that? I'm an army man, not a fighter. Your mum, fatties. What are you doing? Oh, it's under control. My brother's got it covered. Your brother's not here. He's in solitary. My family looks after his own. Always have done. Oh, look, they're coming now. Whatever. Come on, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's get him. Yeah, let's get him. Come on, I'll club him. Sweet. Very childish, but well done. Rainbows. Is this a good time for a new catchphrase? You new lads by the pool table, your convictions have all been quashed and you're all free to go home. Yes! Come on! Yes. Rainbows!
How did you not get out of prison? I thought you were all in prison. They quashed our convictions. Why? Who quashed the convictions? That's a good question. There's so many questions from you, but who quashed our convictions? Yeah, who did quash them? Who quashed your convictions? What's it got to do with you? Who did quash our convictions? What does it really matter when all that really matters is that my family looks after their own? Roxanne? Roxanne's involved. Good old Rexanne. Top draw. One in a million, she is. One in two million. She is top notch, is she? She's done your proud. She is the best. We have to thank her. Is she coming round soon? Appreciate your thoughts, lads. Is she coming round, though? Who's going to phone her then? Oh, yes, please. Go on then. She's busy. Oh, well, I know she's busy. Oh, easy, lover. Nah, she's beautiful. We should move on, though. She ain't beautiful. She makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate by having a little dance to my theme tune. Nope.